So for our fifth stop in this series of Barbecue Backyard Masters, I'm here with James Raffanello. James, nice to meet you. How are you? Pleasure. Nice to meet you. That's contaminating the meat, but that's okay. Uh, we're here, now listen, we've been to five different spots, as I just noted. Um, what's going to make this so original here today? What do, what do we have here today? Well, I think the most original thing that we're going to do is using the cooker. Uh, this is a pit barrel cooker. Um, the cool thing about this grill is you're hanging the meat instead of putting it on the racks. Um, so you get more of a convection heat, nice steady, about 275 heat. So how do we get this started? Okay, uh, basically when you get it from the, you know, from the house or from the store, um, there's a little membrane on the back. You know, you can go underneath with a little butter knife and pull that skin off. You can do that or not. It helps the smoke penetration if you do. Um, let it come to room temperature. Um, usually what I do, um, I just brush on some Dijon mustard. Um, you can use a whole grain mustard. Um, does two things, gives it some good flavor and also helps the, uh, the rub stick a little bit better. Okay, the next step, uh, we can let this sit for a minute and then we'll take our rub. And uh, I like to season up from high. I mean, if you put it down here, you're really not covering anything. So up high, you take these hooks here, put it about uh, maybe two bones down, you go right in. Yeah, go right to your cooker. Just like a Goodfellas movie. There it is. And as you see, I have a full rack here. Here's a pork loin. This is a pork belly that was done earlier, and then a full rack of ribs here. And it's basically just in like that. Hang the meat. And temperature is regulated by these two rebars. So it's basically, it's based on your elevation. Um, and basically, it's going to maintain 260 to 275 the whole way up until about seven hours. Oh, it's so beautiful. So, James, we got three cuts of meat here. Um, I'm not an expert when it comes to, like, biology, mm -hmm. and I don't really know where this lines up. Can you just treat me like a pig and show me where this would actually go if I was the animal that you were cutting up for dinner? Sure, not a problem. Um, we'll start with the ribs first. Okay. Um, you have two sets of ribs? Well, I don't know where my own ribs are. Yeah, now, let's say you do. Okay. Um, we're going to say one is about here. Okay. One is about here. Okay. The belly would be about here. Uh, very jiggly, a lot of fat. That's not nice, man. Um, so it's very tender, but, you know, I think they get the idea. Um, you know, it's very juicy. It is. James Raffanello's three pig meat sandwich. Should be good. Got a little. This is um, a very delicious sandwich. Um, you know, I'm more of like a beef guy personally, but if you make something this good, it's so soft. It's so tangy. It's a very zesty sauce. And... Um, you know, man, you just you just make a hell of a pork sandwich. Thank you so much for this. Thanks for having us here tonight. It's this my is uh, Thank James Raffanello. Thank you, man. Come on, come on, you're coming home. 